Hey everyone's Dave here, welcome to X8 Overview. I've been receiving like multiple emails from the dev team or whatever the marketing <laughs> invitation to try it out while being like in some tests. I never pulled the trigger simply because of conflicting schedules. I think the team is based in Japan or something. Unfortunately, I can only decide when I can do certain stuff and for some it's not very <laughs> convenient. So X8 is the apparent next generation of hero shooter where the rogue mod has been collecting characters from different franchises and you have to embody them in the multiplayer battle arenas and restore their path to their original worlds. My audio didn't pull off for this clip though I'm not totally surprised because the whole pacing of the game is very much scattered and it's just bound to have some issues. You pretty much start with a tutorial explaining you the base mechanics and the more it progresses the the more you find out it doesn't necessarily seem like a standard shooter that we've seen before. The whole concept is centered around heroes and their abilities, special weapons, hell you can even deploy turrets and some other strategic accessories like it has a lot of stuff going on. I think it's very easy to compare it with Larsenauts and both of them have some pros and cons in their own gameplay. I would say X8 is a little bit more complicated and even though there's more to do you kind of forget about certain mechanics and just stick to the ones that are the easiest to execute and you'll actually remember. Huge problem immediately I encountered was with the waiting time to find a match because there's no bots whatsoever you can only play against real human people which if no one is playing then the game is pretty much dead on arrival and I guess it was fine to cut the footage here but to be honest half of it I was just perusing in the menu and wondering around cluelessly and think what to do. Granted, when I got into the match it was pretty fun and there's a lot of things to master in terms of just knowing every character and how it works. Both the UI and the graphics aren't necessarily crazy but they're also not bad so at the end of the day it was like an okay experience. It has pretty big potential going on and I would like this game to grow and get better though it's very likely it will share the Lars Niles treatment and have a very niche usage with specific community. Problem is as well, without bots I don't think there's any future, considering you get blocked from just playing and then you need to wait for specific hours for certain regions to wake up and just enter the queue, which for my reality in Europe this is almost like unplayable. We'll see what's gonna happen with this, it's free so literally anyone can try it, though I've already have in lobbies people or rather <laughs> kids calling each other gay so it's like you won't escape from that part of the community. <laughs> See you around!